How can fluid analysis help identify and address low-hanging fruit problems in machine health? Because, by analyzing wear metals, contamination, and other key markers, fluid analysis can reveal early signs of trouble before they become expensive failures. This allows for proactive maintenance, saving time and money. What are some examples of specific low-hanging fruit problems that can be identified through fluid analysis? Because examples include clogged filters, improper lubrication levels, coolant leaks, and component wear. Early detection of these issues can prevent major breakdowns and costly repairs. How can a feedback loop be used to maximize the effectiveness of fluid analysis programs? Because, by providing feedback on action reports based on analysis results, the program can learn and adapt over time. This feedback can inform future sampling schedules, maintenance procedures, and lubricant selection. Why is a thorough commitment essential for maximizing the benefits of fluid analysis? Because, a successful program requires consistent effort from all stakeholders. This includes regular sampling, timely data analysis, and implementation of recommended actions. Without commitment, the program can become ineffective and fail to deliver its full potential. Discuss the trade-offs between using private labs and internal analysis for fluid testing. Because, Private labs offer expertise and convenience, but they can be expensive and require sufficient sample volume. Internal analysis provides more control but requires investment in equipment and trained personnel. The optimal choice depends on factors like budget, equipment size, and desired turnaround time. Why is selection of the proper sampling location and timing important in fluid analysis? Because taking representative samples from the correct point in the system and when the machine is warm ensures accurate results and avoids misleading data. Describe different types of special purpose sample valves and their advantages. Dedicated sample valves minimize contamination and ensure proper flow, leading to more reliable test results. What are some methods for sampling components without a pump? Some methods are using a hand-operated vacuum pump or using sampling port and sumps are ways to extract lubricant from these systems. Why is proper labeling and information recording crucial for fluid analysis? Because Accurate labeling and recording of component name, lubricant age, and sampling date prevent mix-ups and allow for proper interpretation of results. What are some potential consequences of inaccurate or incomplete sampling procedures? Inaccurate sampling can lead to misleading results, missed problems, and unnecessary maintenance actions. This can cost time, money, and potentially damage equipment. What are some common tests performed in fluid analysis and what information do they provide? Common tests include spectrometric analysis for wear metals and contaminants, viscosity testing, water content measurement, and particle counting. These tests together provide information about the condition of the lubricant and the health of the machine components. How is wear metal analysis interpreted? And what can it reveal about specific machine components? Because, by analyzing the type and quantity of wear metals present, technicians can pinpoint the source of wear and identify potential problems with specific components like bearings or gears. What are the different methods for detecting water in lubricants? And what are their advantages and disadvantages? Because methods like the crackle sputter test, Carl Fisher titration, and FTR spectroscopy offer varying levels of accuracy and sensitivity. Choosing the right method depends on the specific application and desired level of detection. 
discuss the importance of timely data analysis and interpretation in fluid analysis. Because prompt analysis and interpretation of results ensure timely identification of problems and implementation of corrective actions. Delaying this process can lead to further damage and increased costs. What are some potential limitations of using only one type of test in fluid analysis? Because relying solely on one test, like particle counting, can give an incomplete picture of the machine's health. Combining different tests provides a more comprehensive understanding of the lubricant and machine condition. What guidance does ISO 4406 give for hydraulic system cleanliness? ISO 4406 provides a standardized scale for particle size and concentration in hydraulic fluids. This allows for consistent evaluation of cleanliness and informs filtration and maintenance strategies. Why are particle counting and ferrous particle screening important for gear sets? Because gear sets, unlike hydraulic systems, lack filtration protection and experience higher levels of wear debris. Particle counting and ferrous particle screening help detect and address potential gear wear issues. What are the essential elements of a well-structured fluid analysis report? A good report should include clear presentation of data, proper flagging of abnormal values, expert commentary with recommendations, justification for advice, and an urgency level rating for the findings. How can color coding and other visual aids be used effectively in fluid analysis reports? Because Color coding different data points and severity levels can quickly highlight areas of concern and improve the clarity and accessibility of the report for users with varying technical backgrounds. Discuss the importance of expert interpretation in fluid analysis and the challenges associated with relying solely on automated systems. Because, while automation can streamline data processing and reduce errors, Expert interpretation remains crucial for understanding the context of the data, drawing meaningful conclusions, and recommending appropriate actions. Over-reliance on automation can lead to misinterpretations and missed opportunities for improvement. How can maintenance personnel leverage fluid analysis reports to optimize their work and prioritize tasks? Because by understanding the urgency level and specific recommendations in the report, technicians can prioritize tasks and allocate resources efficiently. This ensures timely action on critical issues and prevents unnecessary downtime. What are some potential ethical considerations involved in fluid analysis, particularly when dealing with outsourcing or data sharing? They are data security, confidentiality, and potential conflicts of interest are some ethical concerns to consider. It's crucial to choose reputable labs, ensure proper data anonymization, and have clear agreements in place to maintain transparency and trust. How will the rise of intelligent agents and machine learning impact the future of fluid analysis? Intelligent agents can automate data analysis, reduce errors, optimize recommendations, and provide deeper insights into patterns and correlations. This can lead to more precise maintenance actions, improved efficiency, and cost savings. What are the potential benefits and challenges of using online sensors for Tier 1 fluid analysis? Online sensors offer real-time data and rapid feedback, but their reliability, accuracy, and cost-effectiveness need further development. Integration with other condition monitoring technologies and cloud-based platforms can further enhance their value. What role could portable, fast-testing instruments play in the future of fluid analysis? These instruments can provide on-site results and reduce dependency on traditional labs, 
allowing for quicker decision-making and improved responsiveness to changing conditions. How can fluid analysis data be used to optimize maintenance schedules and maximize return on investment? By analyzing trends and predicting potential failures, fluid analysis can inform preventive maintenance actions, extend equipment life, and reduce downtime. This can lead to significant cost savings and improved overall operational efficiency. What are some ethical considerations surrounding the use of fluid analysis data for predictive maintenance and asset management? Transparency, fairness, and data privacy are key concerns. Organizations must ensure that algorithms are unbiased, data is used responsibly, and individuals are informed about how their data is being utilized for maintenance purposes. 10 more essay questions with S on fluid analysis, cost-benefit analysis and integration, five questions. Compare and contrast the cost-effectiveness of different fluid analysis approaches, such as private labs, internal analysis, and online sensors. Consider factors like equipment cost, labor costs, data accuracy, and turnaround time. The optimal approach depends on individual needs and resources. Private labs offer expertise but can be expensive, while internal analysis requires upfront investment but provides greater control. Online sensors offer real-time data but need further development for accuracy and cost efficiency. How can fluid analysis data be integrated with other condition monitoring technologies like vibration analysis, thermography, and acoustic emission testing? What are the potential benefits of a comprehensive approach? Combining data from various sources provides a holistic view of equipment health, leading to more accurate diagnoses, predictive maintenance, and optimized resource allocation. This can prevent failures, extend equipment life, and reduce overall costs. Discuss the role of fluid analysis in optimizing lubricant selection and usage. How can data-driven insights help reduce lubricant consumption and environmental impact? Fluid analysis can identify optimal lubricant types and change intervals based on specific equipment and operating conditions. This can minimize lubricant waste, extend drain intervals, and reduce environmental footprint. How can fluid analysis data be used to justify budget allocations for maintenance and equipment upgrades? By demonstrating cost savings, increased uptime, and improved equipment health, fluid analysis data can provide compelling evidence for investment in maintenance programs and equipment upgrades. What are the potential challenges and limitations of using fluid analysis data for decision-making in complex industrial settings? Data overload, misinterpretation of results, resistance to change, and lack of skilled personnel are some potential challenges. Effective communication, training, and collaboration between different departments are crucial for overcoming these limitations. Explore the potential of advanced fluid analysis techniques like analytical ferrography and scanning electron microscopy for in-depth investigation of wear mechanisms and lubricant performance. These techniques offer detailed insights into wear particle morphology and composition, allowing for precise identification of wear modes, lubricant degradation, and contamination sources this can lead to targeted maintenance strategies and improved lubricant formulations. Discuss the potential applications of fluid analysis in emerging industries like renewable energy and electric vehicles, where lubrication requirements and challenges differ from traditional machines. Fluid analysis can be adapted to analyze specific lubricants and monitor wear in components of wind turbines, solar panels, and electric vehicle motors. This can help optimize performance, prevent failures, 
and ensure the reliability of these critical technologies? How can fluid analysis be used in conjunction with artificial intelligence and big data analytics to develop predictive models for equipment health and maintenance? Machine learning algorithms can analyze large amounts of fluid analysis data to identify patterns, predict potential failures, and recommend preventive actions. This can lead to proactive maintenance and improved operational efficiency. Discuss the potential ethical considerations surrounding the use of fluid analysis data in predictive maintenance systems and automated decision-making processes. Transparency, fairness, and accountability are important aspects to consider. Ensuring data accuracy, preventing bias in algorithms, and informing users about how their data is used are crucial for maintaining trust and ethical practices in predictive maintenance systems. How can fluid analysis contribute to the development of more sustainable and environmentally friendly industrial practices by optimizing lubricant selection and usage, reducing waste, and extending equipment life? Fluid analysis can contribute to a circular economy and minimize environmental impact. It can also help identify and address issues like coolant leaks and lubricant contamination preventing harmful pollutants from entering the environment. 